The next thing I want to do is to bring in some more portraits of designers. And uh, I've already seen that I have some in my finder in my folder there. So I'm going to select designer 2 through 4. And then I want to bring them onto my page. But I don't have a picture box yet. With Quark Express 8, that's not a problem. It's really easy. All I need to do is drag and drop it to any empty space of the page or to the pasteboard. I'm going to release this and Quark Express 8 will create picture boxes automatically for me. So let's align them. I'm going to multiple select these picture boxes here. Using the measurement palette it's very easy to align different pictures. I'm going to align the centers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it 8 millimeters between the borders. And I'll put in the 8 millimeters and done. That was quite easy. So I'm done. What I want now is to have all of the picture boxes look the same as the first picture box that I created. In Quark Express 7 or 6, what would you do? You would probably copy down the attributes of the first box and apply them to the other boxes. In Quark Express 8, that's going to be much quicker. All I need to do is I'm going to select the first box that I created, and I'm going to use that as a model for all of the other ones. I'm going to create an item style. An item style is a little like style sheets, but it's for boxes, items, lines. I'm going to show you what that means. So now I've selected my picture, I'm going to create a new item style. I'm going to call it Face Boxes. And notice that Quark Express 8 has already filled in all of the attributes of the box, and also all of the attributes of the picture inside the box. Well, in this case, maybe that's not what I want, because if you remember, the first picture was much larger than the other ones. So I'm going to deselect picture attributes so that the item style only contains the attributes of the box. So now I'm going to select the item style for that first box and apply it. Let's select the other boxes and with one click all of them will look the same as the first one. Then I'm going to adjust them, make them look a bit nicer, center all of the faces using the same kind of keyboard shortcuts I've used in previous versions of Quark Express.